Okay, so I'm Jordan Anderson, and this is for Ed Psych for Ed 304, and this is my video teaching Selene her multiplication by fours. This is Selene Puffer. She is nine years old, and she is in the third grade. So, Selene, do you know your multiplication by fours? No. I have this sheet for you right here that just has four times zero through four times ten. So why don't you go through that and just fill out as much as you know, and if you don't know it, then just skip it. Okay, so Celine knows quite a few of her fours, but she doesn't know all of them. So today I'm going to teach her the rest of them. Um, so we have here these rainbow looms here on the table. They are laid out in groups of four. So I'm going to teach Celine a couple different methods to do multiplication. So Celine, when we do multiplication, that's basically we're saying when we take a number times four, we're saying that many groups of the number four, okay? So here, if we did three times four, we would just have three groups, one, two, three, of four, okay? So let's, we want to figure out what three times, or four times three, same thing. Okay. So if I take away all those, how many do four, we have? Four, eight. We just want to add four, mm -hmm. right? Because we have eight, and we just have four more. Twelve. Twelve, perfect, so that's gonna be twelve. Okay. And 12 plus 4 more. Right. So that's another group of 4. 16. Very good. Uh, 24. Mm -hmm. uh, 28. Mm -hmm. uh, 32. Cool. So the cool thing about multiplication is that we can build off things that we already know. So like you knew that 4 times 2 is 8, mm -hmm. so all you had to do was add 4 more to get 12. Mm -hmm. So whenever you're stuck, you can just say, okay, what do I already know? And then use that information that you already know to help you learn new information, okay? And then after doing it a couple times, then pretty soon you'll just be able to say, well, 4 times 3 is 12, okay? So another thing we can learn with these uh, rubber bands or these rainbow looms um, is repeated addition, which is kind of what we were just doing. So it's where you take, if we're doing four times the number, we just add four that many times. So if we added four plus four plus four plus four plus four, that would be four times five is 20. Right, and I added four how many times? Um, five times. Right, exactly. So, like I said, with the repeated addition. Um, so we have, um, some story problems that I want you to look at that show me that you understand when you read something that it's using multiplication and what it means, okay? Okay. Okay, so why don't you, um... Go ahead. Okay, so can you read this out loud? If four students each have two cookies, how many cookies are there total? total? Okay, so why don't you draw a picture that demonstrates the question? So right now, Celine is drawing four people. Those are cookies. Cookies. Four cookies on a plate. Er, yeah. Two plates, I mean, four plates of cookies with two cookies on each of them. Okay, great. So her drawing looks like this. So here are her four plates of cookies, and each of them have two. So how many cookies are there total? Eight. Eight, right? Okay, so write a big eight right there. So, 
Let's check it. So if we have two groups of four using your rainbow looms, how many root do you have? Eight. Mm -hmm. And if we do a repeated addition, we have four plus another group of four. What's that? Four plus another group of four. I don't understand that. So here's one group of four okay. plus another group of four. So how many rubber bands total? Eight. All right, so see how any way we do it, we always get eight. So we can draw a picture. We can do repeated addition. We can do grouping. We can do lots of different things. We'll always get eight, okay? So now let's, can you read this one out loud? If, if you and Mickey and Lena and Malachi and Sonia each get four presents, how many presents are there total? Okay, so can you draw, draw it out again? Four times five? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so she's drawing Christmas presents right now. So we have five groups of Christmas presents and they each have four in them. So how many presents would that be total? So you can use repeated addition since you did four or you can use grouping. Um, four plus eight, 12, six, nine, Okay, wait, so you're at 4, 8, 12, and then what's 4 more? 16. 16, good. And then 4 more? 20. 20. So how many presents total? Good. So if we were to check it with our looms, we want 5 groups of 4, right? Mm -hmm. So there's 2, 3 groups of 4, 4 groups of 4, and five groups of four. And as you can see, I'm just moving them over as a separation so she can see the five groups. So if you have five groups of four, how many would that be? 20. Right, 20. So again, no matter how we do it, if we draw it out, if we do grouping, repeated addition, we'll always get five times four is? 20. Good. Okay, so now I want you to come up with your own story problem. It can be about whatever you want. Just make sure it has four in it. F O U R. Just putting you in there. Perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm still going to have you read it out loud. Okay, so it says there are four rows of flowers. And how many rows are there, Sailor? Four. And there are four, wait, yeah, that's what four I just asked. Rows. And how many flowers are in each row? Four. Okay. Wait, so two. Two flowers in each row? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have four rows of flowers and two flowers in each row. So how many flowers do we have total? Eight. Right. How'd you do that? 
<laughs> Genius. <laughs> okay, so as you can see from our video, so Celine, she knew some information already, and then we were able to teach her new information. And because she already had a strong foundation, she was able to pick it up really quickly. And she ended up being able to fill out this entire thing of 4 through 0 time, and through times 10, which when we first started, she had only filled out a couple of them. Um, so she was able to use the power of transfer to take her old information and be able to learn new information more easily. Um, she was able to prove that she understood it, um, like in Bloom's taxonomy, by answering story problems and understanding the words and being able to apply them. And also she was eventually able to create by coming up with her own story problem that she wrote out and solving it. So I would say that Zulane's multiplication is so much better now, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs>